And what is up guys, it's your Average Gear Reviewer here, back again with another one for you. In this one, I don't know about you guys, but every time I'm at Walmart, I'm always looking for good deals, stuff on clearance, you know, just uh, trying to find good deals there. And sometimes you run across something really cool. And uh, I actually did this time. I uh, found a Outdoor Edge X3. And it was on sale for only $11. So, yeah. Uh, it says that it is, let's see, it's an 8 CR13 MLV stainless steel blades. It does have three different blades. Uh, they're lockable, so I don't know what kind of lock design it uses. I guess we'll find that out here in a second. And it does come with a belt sheath. So, as you can see, it's got a clip point blade, a saw blade, and also a uh, gutting hook. Or it could be a seatbelt cutter as well. So uh, yeah, let's uh, let's get into that. Welcome to Average Gear Review, where the best gear is the gear you have on. And as always, guys, before I forget to say it, welcome to the channel. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first video, thanks so much for stopping by to watch one of my little videos. I really do appreciate it. If you're a returning viewer, great to see you back. I hope you're doing well. And uh, let's get into this thing. So we're over here at the bench and I just realized uh, I didn't have anything over here to open uh, to open this up with. But then I remembered I've got my unboxing buddy over here. So uh, yeah, let's get into this. And uh, like I said, you know, just found a really good deal on this at Walmart. I'm always on the lookout for them when I'm going through there. And uh, just happened to spot this little one over on the clearance aisle and I couldn't really pass it up. I have a uh, orange and black EDC set I've been working on that I think this might make a good addition to. So there was a, a method behind the madness there. It also seems like a, a, a neat little knife that you could just kind of throw in a pack or something. Um, you know, maybe put in the tackle box, put in um, a hunting backpack, you know, just any kind of little pack you're gonna carry around and yeah really really cool okay so let's see how the yeah it's just like a like a backlock type system so you can see the uh, overall size of it here let's uh zoom in a little bit for you and uh, let's take a look at the size of it um overall it is running right about four inches just a little over four inches there um, let's see, with the clip point blade out, got an overall length of about just a little over seven inches. So that's giving you about a four inch handle and uh, roughly a three inch blade on each one. I didn't look at the packaging to see exactly how long each one was. Let's see how. Okay. So the drop point, uh, it looks like the uh, drop point blade is three inches, cutting blade uh, 2.5 inches, and the saw is 3.0 inches. So overall, it's saying it's seven inches, and it's weighing in at about 6.5 ounces. This one does have just some glass-filled nylon handles on it, which is just fine for something like this, in my opinion. It does have some nice jimping here on the back side of it, which is really, um, really interesting to see. I'll have to check the size on that pivot here in a second, but I'm thinking that's a T8 pivot and it looks like it's got T6 hardware um, holding the scales on there. See the cutter hook's got a nice nail nick on it so you don't have to grab a hold of that hook. So you can see you've got a, a gutting blade, but also um, this gutting hook, you know, you could use that as a, a seatbelt cutter as well or, uh, you know, more like a first responder type applications. And the saw blade there. You notice all these have a really, um, they have a really forward canted design to them, it seems like. So you could kind of maximize that power cutting into things. Um, okay, so the back lock on that one, that's interesting. One blade uses this lock, this lock, these are even, and then you have an extra, another one that kind of sits back here. That's your saw blade. And then the, um, let's see. Your clip point blade is here and you can see even it, it has sort of that rounded back to it. Nice little drop point blade. Uh, it actually is hollow ground. 
looks like a satin finish stainless steel. And again, in that CR13 MOV, it, it's not a bad steel on something like this. Um, good stainless qualities. Uh, it'll have good edge retention. I just, uh, it's not as tough maybe as, uh, you know, if you're doing some heavier duty stuff for, for mostly cutting type tasks, this should be just fine. Let's, um, let's grab a couple of things to cut here. And, oh, yeah, we didn't even look at the sheath. Hey, look, some troll candy. I haven't seen that in forever. There you go, troll. And another, um, I don't know. I'm not really sure about this. Seems really wasteful to me, but, uh, yeah. We'll throw that in the trash. I mean, it's just a basic little sheath. There's nothing, um, you know, nothing wrong with it. Just a kind of a basic little sheath with a uh, belt loop there. You can put it on your belt. Again, this is something I don't know that I would carry externally on a belt, but maybe to throw in, um, you know, a hunting pack or a uh, hiking bag, something like that. You know, something, somewhere you could just put it and leave it. And um, basically be able to 3X your outdoor capabilities there. I think that's kind of cool. Kind of an interesting design. And the way that it gives you a full-size knife, full-size saw blade. Uh, yeah, that's kind of neat. Like I said, let's take a look at, uh, let's cut a couple of things with it, see how it cuts. So let's cut some stuff, see how it does. Uh, got some, start off with some paper and we'll use, of course, a clip point blade. Okay, it's not, not razor sharp and, and the edge, if you touch, probably just needs a little bit of touching up. It seems like the edge might be a little rough on it. Yeah, so again, it, you, you're not getting a, a razor sharp uh, blade here. You know, this is more for probably rough outdoor, uh, maybe whittling or something like that. But it, it is just not not that sharp out of the box. I could get a little touch up on that and, and get it, uh, probably get it pretty sharp. But just out of the box, I'm just showing you out of box condition. And again, if you guys know the unboxing videos, these are not, uh, it's not at all a review. It's just my first impressions. I'm seeing it uh, right along with you guys for the first time. So um, let's check and see how it'll cut through some 550 cord. I'm thinking maybe it might be a little better suited. I think that piece is already cut. Yeah, okay. Little draw needed, but yeah, it will. Yeah, that's not too bad. It will just kind of cleanly slice right through it. So, uh, yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. This blade, it, it comes with more of a working edge on it than uh, a, a real fine, you know, a real fine edge. So that's just something to be aware of. Um, let's lock this back and try the, uh, let's try the hook. Get a good enough grip here to see how it'll, see how it'll go through some 550 cord. Oh, it won't. It won't. Apparently, it's not made to do that. And I'm not going to cut a seat belt with it. So, I'm just a... Uh, <laughs> no, no test on that one, I guess. It's, uh, just for fun, let's test this edge on some cardboard. That's not bad, actually. And uh, with that, you know, with the curve to the blade there, it does tend to sort of bite in once you get it going. So, yeah, not bad on the cardboard. Let's try that. Uh, let's try the uh, original clip point blade there. And I did notice something about these. These are just a little slightly mismatched here on the spine. I don't know if you can see that or not. Just a little bit mismatched there. But uh, hey, you know, for eleven dollars, we're not going to complain, are we? Yeah, that's uh, not bad through the cardboard. I got to say, it's uh, doing a lot better through the cardboard than it did through the paper. So yeah. Good job there. Not too much pressure needed to uh, just eat that cardboard right up. So, you know, it's it's redeeming itself a little bit here. It's redeeming itself. Let's give the saw blade a chance. I just went outside and got a a piece of a vine off of a tree. You know, just to just to give us a little general idea of what the uh, saw blade is like, and it, and the wood is wet too, so. Uh oh, 
the dogs is barking. So it may be because the wood's wet. It might be because of the wood that I chose, this vine. Um, not, yeah, I don't know. Not terribly impressed with the saw. But again, this is a vine. And I know you probably can't tell, but this wood is really wet. So we're going to going to give it the benefit of the doubt on that one. If I had some drier wood, I, I would I would try it, but uh, I really don't have anything, I don't think, as far as just like a plain dry piece of wood that I could try. So yeah, we'll just, uh, that'll just have to work on that one. You know, nothing super great about it. Um, got nice, thick blade steel to it. And like I said, you've got a really good working edge on the clip point here. So, um, you know, that alone is probably worth $11. The jury's still out. I'll try to use this a little more and see, because it really seems bitey. I think maybe that it's just the wood that I used. So I'm going to give the saw a pass on that one. I believe that in some nice you know, in some drier wood and probably some that's not uh, old like this was, old vine. I, I think it would do a lot better. So I'm going to try to give it the benefit of the doubt on that one. And, um, you know, I don't have anything to gut with this, so I can't really, and, and I don't want to go out and cut the seat belts on the car, so I, I can't really check that. Now this blade here is very sharp. We saw it went right through the cardboard, so you know, for $11, I can't really complain. It's not, uh, it's not bad at all. Uh, but yeah, let me give you my, uh, overall impressions so of it. Initial impressions. I guess I would say for $11, it, it's not bad. Uh, it got a nice workable blade, nice usable blade here for, uh, you know, you're more not really for uh, so much for the fine tuned stuff, but I think again, with just a little bit of Feel the edge there. Yeah, I think with just a little bit of work on a stone, you could take the roughness out of this. What it, it seems to have a lot of roughness to the edge of the blade. I don't know if the camera is going to pick up on that for you, but uh, the blade, the uh, the grind of the edge of the blade just seems to be a little bit rough. Um, you know, but again, you, you're talking about something that uh, I paid eleven dollars for, so uh, you can sort of see the overall size of it here. It, uh, quite a bit thicker than, uh, you know, like a Swiss army knife or something like that. So you know, you've got a good handle to hold on to. And I think that would help you a lot for trying to use that saw outdoors. A lot of times with the saws, the saw may work fine, but it, it, if you don't have something really substantial to hold on to, it can be a little harder to use. So I think it does uh, do a good job of that. And, um, you know, the blades, like I said, they, they will go through cardboard and they've got good working edges on them. That clip point could be touched up just a little bit more, you know, if you wanted to. Uh, I, I'm, I'm sure this will probably work just fine as a gutting hook. I don't have it. Like I said, I don't have anything to gut with it, so I can't really um, try that out. But uh, yeah, not bad. I mean, for uh, for eleven dollars, I'm gonna throw this in uh, a little orange and black EDC set that I've got going. Let me see if I've got that around. So in my EDC pack here, uh, which does feature a removable, it's got this removable pack on the front that will work as a crossbody or over the shoulder sling type. Um, but it, it mounts right to the front of the backpack. But inside here, I've got. A really a black and orange set that I've been working on and I think this might make a good addition to that what we'll just fell out of there oh, okay. might make a good addition to that uh, show you guys in here sort of like a little black and orange set that I've been working on for a little while and I might swap out this utility blade. I might swap out with this because, you know, like it says, it will 3X my capabilities. 
anyway guys that's uh, just my quick first impressions on the outdoor edge x3 let me know what you think about it in the comments down below have you tried out any of outdoor edges stuff they do have some really cool replaceable blades that uh i was looking at when i was trying to research this one and i will apologize guys i could not find any information on these at all so uh everything that i was going by was just what was on the packaging uh, i could not find any information on this actual knife at all not even on outdoor edges stuff so um but they do have a lot of different sort of um replaceable blade type knives which are really cool this is the only one i saw that was a, a sort of a three in one type deal so you know for 11 bucks uh, not a bad little pickup from walmart so anyway guys what have you found at walmart lately let me know in the comments down below if you've made any uh, neat little finds at walmart any cool little pickups there and uh leave the video a like if you like the video if you like the x3 or if you just like my plaid shirt leave me a like down below if you're not subscribed is it over here okay that's all i got to say about that guys remember what i always say always be carrying and the best gear is the gear you have on you average gear reviewer i'm out of here average gear review but the best gear is the gear you have on you